In this video, we'll cover the basics of analyzing the absolute irradiance SD card data collected with the Jazz Spectrometer using SpectraSuite software. Be sure to see the Part 1 Jazz Absolute Irradiance Spectroscopy video for taking measurements independently, storage of data to the SD card, and proper removal of the SD card from the Jazz unit. We have already stored our absolute irradiance data to the SD card. To post-process your data in SpectraSuite, you'll need to place the SD card in a card reader connected to your computer. Save these files to a folder on your computer so that you can easily load them from SpectraSuite. In this next segment, we'll demonstrate how to perform post-processing of your data in SpectraSuite for color analysis, radiometric analysis, or photometric analysis. Start by launching SpectraSuite. When SpectraSuite opens, on the top toolbar, go to Processing, Absolute Irradiance, Load Jazz Absolute Irradiance Measurement. Now locate the folder of the file you wish to open. Once the file has been loaded, SpectraSuite automatically opens a graph of the absolute irradiance measurement data in microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer. The data file appears in the Data Sources pane. Now we'll demonstrate how to start the color measurement processing. Click on the color measurement icon on the top toolbar. Select Active Processing and Accept. If you have multiple files open, you must select which processing source file you wish to acquire. It's best to work on one process file at a time. The Color Measurement Wizard will now allow you to select the Color Observer and Illuminant. It should automatically default to Emissive mode for your Absolute Irradiance file. Choose between the 2 degree or 10 degree observer as well as the illuminant that you desire the data to be processed in. If you do not know what observer or illuminant to choose, do some research to see which would be best for your application. We will choose 2 degree for the observer and illuminant for our tungsten halogen bulb. For more information on color measurements, Please see the Color Measurements Basics video from Ocean Optics on SpectroscopyTV.com. We'll rotate this window to the right for a more suitable viewing environment. To do this, click on the top header bar of the box by using the left mouse button. While holding this button down, move the mouse to the right to select the position you desire. You will see orange boxes appear in different locations as you move the mouse. The window will then move to the last box indicated. Now we'll set up the radiometric measurement. Click on Energy, Power, Photons icon on the Graph toolbar. You can select your integration range and choose from either Rectangular, Simpsons, or Trapezoid integration methods. We will integrate from 250 to 850 with the Rectangular method. Now the Energy Power Photons post-processing box will appear. We will move this box to the right as well. Now we will demonstrate how to do a photometric analysis. Click on the Candle button on the Graph toolbar. A box will open titled Configure Photometry. In this box you will need to select from 2 or 10 degree observer and you will need to input the steradians. We'll use the 2 degree observer and input 0.001256 steradians based on the measurements that we previously took. A box will open with our photometry measurements. We will again move this box to the right so that we can display all the windows in SpectraSuite. These simple steps should help get you started with basic absolute irradiance file post-processing measurements. For more information, be sure to visit us online at oceanoptics.com.